not a lot of love between you guys, is that correct? I mean, we love supporting women, and we were in this with our girls and really hoping that we would bond with the other female teams and, like, really push through together. So I don't know if, you know, that was reciprocated, but, I mean, I'm sure there's not a lot of love now, especially. Honestly, Eliza and I both have played on seasons of returning players versus newbies. Mm -hmm. We've always been on the returning player side. And to be newbies in a game that is so incredibly difficult and there's so many nuances to it, we really, you know, it's been a struggle for us the whole way and we obviously knew going in that they were a really powerful duo and not just them, but a lot of the returning players are and, you know. <laughs> is that why you didn't do well, you think? Were as well as you wanted or? I think, you know, we made a lot of mistakes that maybe we wouldn't have made had we known better. And there's a, a huge amount of paranoia and panic in our little duo, which we've tried our best to manage. That's um, something that you brought to the race? You mean, oh yeah, we brought all the panic to the race. <laughs> no, meaning that's how you are outside of the race? Yes. In your everyday lives? Yes. Yeah. Both of us have high powered jobs. We do everything with a sense of urgency and we're, we're challenged every day of our lives. And we were hoping this would be vacation -y. Like we thought this would be so it's much no more fun. It's no vacation this race, no. I didn't think that. No? What, no. Do you, what, what did you think? I thought that, you know, being someone who's traveled a lot and who's interacted with a lot of different cultures would give me an advantage and enable me to make good decisions in other countries. And I think that, you know, this has been more of a challenge than, than I ever expected. Um, it definitely took me outside my comfort zone. I have actively avoided for 35 years riding a motorbike. Like they terrify me. And she was like, you gotta do it. And so that was my struggle today. It was, yeah. it went really, really poorly, you know. Um, but you did it. Six teams passed us. But you did it. I did do it. Yeah. I passed my road test. At the end of the day, this is a cutthroat competition. We gave every single challenge, everything we had. We never, you know, we never yelled at each other. I'm really proud of us for always respecting one another, never being obnoxious to one another, never disrespecting the local culture, never, you know, doing anything that, that will, you know, embarrass our families. Like, we gave it our all. Yeah. Well, the good news is if you ever visit Vietnam again. I will never visit Vietnam again. Oh, no? No. You're not coming back? No, thank you. Really? <laughs> it's a no from me, dog. No. Really? Never? <laughs> no. Wow. It's Same. a beautiful country. I. She loves loved, Asia. I, yeah. it just, I didn't feel like it was my sweet spot. I just... I don't just want to come back. What about you? Who knows? And I don't know how much you can ride a motorbike around if you come back. Yeah, right. You're qualified. Yeah. I would never do that. No? That is... I don't have a death wish. I'm, I'm kind of in the anger phase right now, so... What do you... What's the anger? Oh, I'm just so frustrated. Like, it just... It was just such a frustrating day of getting lost and having our cab driver stop 18 times to ask directions places when he said, oh, yeah, 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 sure, no problem. And just just the frustration of that and not being able to ride a motorbike and sinking in the water with our, so it's just like a lot of, I have a lot of pent up anger about, you know, being eliminated. It sucks.